If I was to say the words Australian trucking to you, assuming you have any prior knowledge, then most likely you'd be envisioning something like this. Known as a road train, this behemoth of a vehicle is by far the most iconic and internationally recognizable aspect of Australia's trucking industry. However, if you were to leave the desolate outback and make your way to somewhere a bit more populated, you might be surprised to find a vast array of different trucks, or prime movers, from various corners of the globe. On any given street, you can find European brands such as Scania, Volvo, or Iveco, Japanese brands like Mitsubishi, Isuzu, or UD, and American brands like Kenworth, Mack, or Peterbilt. In addition to this, you'll see both conventional and cab-over style truck cabs, both of which are best suited for different purposes. Let's start with the conventional cab, also called a bonneted truck, which is mostly used for longer distance travel and is perfectly suited for road trains. For those of you unfamiliar with road trains, they economically connect remote Australian communities which otherwise have no way of receiving freight, as the Australian rail network mostly hugs the coastlines. There is great need for road trains in western and central Australia as there is essentially no rural transportation infrastructure. Though road trains are legally allowed to operate in the states and territories of Northern Territory, Western Australia, and parts of South Australia, Queensland, and New South Wales. Road trains cover massive distances over rough terrain, often on unpaved and desolate roads. Kangaroos, cows, and various other animals are a major hazard for drivers in these remote areas, hence why road train cabs feature thick bull bars on the front. Drivers, affectionately known as truckies, can be out for days to months at a time, so the extra cabin space is greatly appreciated, especially when it's the only refuge from the searing Australian sun. Conventional cabs have greater engine space than their cab over counterparts, which allows for the installation of some absolutely massive engines, which are more than required to haul these heavy loads. There's great diversity among road train configurations, but for the most part they have three or more trailers in varying sizes. Given the environment of the Outback, it's not uncommon for older vehicles to overheat, especially when climbing uphill. While overheating is unfortunate, regardless of what kind of truck you drive, sitting on top of an overheating engine can be a little bit dicey and not to mention hot. Conventional cabs are also easier to maintain while in the bush, as accessing the engine is a simple matter of popping the bonnet as opposed to the more laborious process of tilting the whole cab. This is not to say that only conventional cabs are used in road trains. American brand cab overs, which are actually produced in Australia, can be seen from time to time hauling heavy as well. Really it's up to individual choice, but generally conventional cabs are preferred. Jumping over to the coast, the streets are teeming with cab overs of all sorts. These stubby little warriors maintain the coastal economies where the vast majority of Australians live. Though generally Australian roads tend to be fairly wide, it can be difficult for a conventional cab driver to get around in more populated areas. Cab overs also provide a greater field of view, turning radius and are often safer for other drivers to be around as braking distances and agility are priorities. Usually hauling singles or maybe doubles, cab overs are perfectly suited for Australia's denser areas and shorter distances. Distance hauls. These cab overs, most of which are from Europe and Japan, are extremely well engineered, able to find the perfect medium between efficiency and safety. People in my comments seem to agree that these European cab overs are quite comfortable and luxurious, often with air ride suspension built into the cab, and though it's a matter of personal opinion which cab style is better, comfort plays a huge role in a driver's life. What Australia's trucking industry does better than many areas of the world is simple. They provide you with an option as to what truck you'd like to drive. Though people can argue endlessly about which cab style is better, I think we all can agree that we'd rather have the option to choose for ourselves. Alright, that's all I got for today. Feel free to like or subscribe or argue in the comments if you feel the need. 